For more than a decade, Comcast has been committed to bridging the digital divide and connecting millions of Americans to affordable high-speed Internet. But the barriers to get connected go well beyond affordability. That's why Comcast has expanded its efforts through Project Up. Backed by a $1 billion commitment, Comcast is partnering with local community experts to build a network of digital navigators, individuals who help build awareness around initiatives like the government's Affordable Connectivity Program and teach digital skills to get more people online. Learn more at Comcast.com slash Project Up. Are you looking for a podcast that's entertaining, more bingeable than your favorite Netflix show and informative? The Personal Finance Podcast teaches you the hacks, tips, and tactics you need to upgrade your money all while spending less and saving more. This isn't a show that teaches you to save money by clipping coupons. It's much more about learning how to build generational wealth and spending your money on the things you love. Search for the Personal Finance Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Your wallet will thank you later. This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 2324, What You Need to Know About Laddering CDs by Dr. James M. Dolly of whitecoatinvestor.com. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. Welcome to another Monday Mastery episode here on Optimal Finance Daily where each Monday we take a look at an article that features a more complex personal finance topic. So with that, let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. What You Need to Know About Laddering CDs by Dr. James M. Dolly of whitecoatinvestor.com. As interest rates rise and markets fall, investors are expressing more interest in safe investments especially investments that don't decrease in value with rising interest rates, like bonds. It's no surprise to see rising search traffic about certificates of deposit, or CDs. However, before investing in CDs or attempting to ladder them, you need to really understand their pros and cons. What is a CD ladder? A CD is a cash investment, like a savings account or a money market fund, and it has the main benefit of a cash investment. It will never lose principal due to market or interest rate fluctuations. A CD is simply a savings account with a term. Terms typically range from six months to 10 years. And while you can usually access your principal, even if you withdraw your money before the end of the term, you usually pay a penalty such as three to six months of forfeited interest to do so. Due to this additional restriction, a CD will typically pay more than a savings account at the same institution. The longer the term, the higher the interest rate the CD will pay. A CD ladder is simply a collection of CDs with different maturity dates. If you had CDs that matured in one year, two years, three years, four years, and five years, you can say you had a five-year CD ladder. Why would someone ladder CDs? The benefit of a ladder, at least a fully mature ladder, is that you're earning the interest rate for a five or 10-year CD while still having access to some of your money every year penalty-free. When interest rates drop, you're still earning the previously higher interest rate with most of your money. When interest rates rise, there's no hit to your principal, unlike with a bond fund or individual bonds, in the event you have to sell them prior to maturity. How do you build a CD ladder? There are two ways to build a CD ladder. The first is to put the same amount of money into a five or 10 year CD every year. After five or 10 years respectively of doing this, you'll have a collection of one, two, three, four, and five year or one to 10 year CDs, each paying you the rate of a five or 10 year CD, or at least what the rates were at the time of purchase. The second method of building a CD ladder, which works much better for the impatient, is to buy all of the CDs at once. For example, if you had $100,000, you wanted to invest in a 10-year CD ladder, you would put $10,000 into a 10-year CD, $10,000 into a 9-year CD, $10,000 into an 8-year CD, and so on down to $10,000 in a 1-year CD. Obviously, the first method will pay a higher average interest rate, assuming no changes in interest rates over those years, but it also takes much longer to build. Either way, assuming you want to continue the ladder, you roll the maturing CD into a new five or 10 year CD. What can you use a CD ladder for? A CD ladder has two uses. The first is an ongoing investment, 
you simply continue to roll those maturing CDs into new ones. In fact, you may even purchase a larger CD each year using new money in your portfolio. Perhaps you start with $10,000 in each CD, and after a decade or two, perhaps you have $100,000 in each CD. The second use is to match future liabilities. For example, if you're planning to spend $100,000 per year, perhaps you buy a $500,000 five-year CD ladder. As the ladders mature, that provides income to live off of for the next year. Each year, you then take $100,000 out of the remaining portfolio and buy another $100,000 five-year CD. Are CDs insured? CDs are generally insured by banks or credit unions, and they qualify for FDIC for banks or NCUA for credit unions insurance. This insurance is limited to $250,000 per depositor per bank. Buying five different CDs in your name at the same bank does not give you five separate $250,000 limits. They all share the same $250,000 limit. However, there are times, such as the Silicon Valley bank meltdown in March 2023, when the federal government insures deposits above and beyond $250,000. Even if you purchase a CD via a broker, it still qualifies for FDIC or NCUA insurance, depending on the original issuing institution. Be aware that there are CD-like investments out there that pay a fixed rate for a specified time period. These may be issued by a real estate investment company or other institution. These are not CDs and do not qualify for FDIC or NCUA insurance, although they generally offer a higher interest rate to compensate for the higher risk. Which is better, CDs or a savings account? CDs generally pay a higher interest rate. So if you're sure the money will be in the account for the entire term, you're generally better off with a CD. However, if interest rates are rising rapidly, you could come out behind with a CD. For example, if you bought a five-year CD that pays 4% while savings accounts were paying 3%, but then short-term interest rates rapidly increased to 6%, you would have been better off with the savings account. Some banks issue CDs that allow you to update your interest rate once or more during the term to help protect against this possibility. If interest rates really rise rapidly, it may be worth forfeiting the interest penalty in order to swap into a savings account paying a higher interest rate. If interest rates fall, you'd be much better off with a CD than a savings account since that CD will still be paying that higher interest rate. How is a CD ladder different from a bond ladder? Investors can also construct a bond ladder in a similar way to a CD ladder. This is generally done using individual bonds, usually treasuries, either nominal or inflation indexed, to minimize default risk. If the treasuries are held to maturity, they function exactly like CDs, and one can choose between treasuries and CDs simply based on which is paying more in interest. However, CD ladders and bond ladders differ when they're not held to maturity. When a CD is closed or canceled before maturity, the investor pays a penalty in the form of losing a few months of interest. When a bond is sold prior to maturity, it can be sold with either a gain or a loss. If interest rates have risen since it was issued, it's sold at a loss. If interest rates have fallen since its issue, it'll be sold with a gain. That gain will be taxed at long-term capital gains rates if the bond was held for longer than one year. Is now the right time to buy CDs? Unfortunately, the answer to this question is partially unknown and unknowable because it depends on future interest rate movements. If interest rates rise, you would be better off with a savings account or more likely a money market fund. If interest rates fall, you'll be better off with a bond or bond fund. It also depends on whether you might need the money before the term is up. But if you want an investment that will not lose principal even if rates go up and that will pay more than a savings account if rates stay the same or go down, a CD will fit that bill. Building a ladder of CDs can help you match future liabilities or just earn you a little more interest than buying shorter term CDs. What's the best strategy for laddering CDs? If you're trying to match liabilities, you can build a CD ladder out to as long as 10 years. It's hard to buy CDs for much longer than that. In fact, CDs longer than five years can be difficult to find at competitive rates. If you're just trying to squeeze out a little bit more interest on your cash than you can get in a savings account while preserving some liquidity, a five-year ladder should be adequate. 
If you're concerned rates are going to drop, you can lock in today's rates for years by purchasing a five-year or even longer CD. However, if you're 100% sure rates will drop, you'll be better off buying long-term treasury bonds. You just listened to the post titled, What You Need to Know About Laddering CDs by Dr. James M. Dolly of whitecoatinvestor.com. Quinton here runs a sustainable clothing brand. Hi there. He's excited that his shipping company, FedEx, has set a goal of having carbon neutral operations by 2040. Impressive. When an influencer tweeted about his recycled bamboo t shirts, Quinton unexpectedly became quite popular. I'll take it. He uses FedEx to reach new customers around the globe while making Earth a priority. FedEx, where now meets next. There's something special about summer in Colorado. From our vibrant cities to our charming mountain towns, time is measured at the beat of life. And no matter what beat you choose to follow, from the rush of exploring to the serenity of relaxation, new discoveries lie around every bend, new memories around every corner. Everything shines a little brighter. Colorado, come to life. I find CD ladders and similarly bond ladders to be a pretty elegant solution to the challenge of getting the highest interest rate you can on your cash, while also managing the risk that you'll incur fees or penalties if you need to access that cash. While I think they're cool, here's why I don't have any. It just seems like a pain to set up and manage for slightly more benefit than a money market account. I'm not sure the juice is worth the squeeze, especially because I don't care that much about the interest I'm earning on my cash. Here's the way I see it. I have different pools of money that have different jobs. The money I invest in my retirement vehicles and brokerage has the job of growth. The money I keep in cash has the job of liquidity and easy access. If I can easily get a little growth on that cash, then fine. But I'm not willing to sacrifice easy access for that because I have a much bigger stack of money that's already doing that job really well. But here's a change that I just made this week. I took the $20,000 I have sitting in a high yield savings account, which was earning 3.5% interest, and I moved it into a money market account that earns 5.02% interest. I'm embarrassed that I never knew that if you have a fully funded emergency fund that you never touch, you're much better off keeping it in a money market account. Everyone makes a big stink about high yield savings accounts. And when you're first getting started with saving, they are preferable because they often allow lower minimum balances. But with my new money market account, as long as I keep the balance over $1,000, there are no account fees and I'm allowed to do six transactions per month, which is way more than I need. I reached this savings goal of a $20,000 emergency fund and literally have not touched this account. There have been no transactions in at least three years. I could have done a CD ladder, but the CD offered a 5.17% APY, and the money market offered a 5.02% APY. They are so close, and my money is way more accessible in the money market account. But that'll do it for this episode. Have a happy rest of your day and I'll be back with you again tomorrow where optimal life awaits.